Welcome to the Better Upper Lip. My name is Tyler. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today we're going to continue our series featuring the beers from Piedmont Brewing Kitchen here in Macon, Georgia. And today we're going to shake it up. We're going to get a little bit darker, if you will. Today we're going to be doing Midnight Rider Robust Porter. Pretty cool can art. Wrap around. So Robust Porter comes in at 6.6 .6 ABV and its IBUs are listed at 35. The little bit that I read up on the beer, uh, the brewery said they are making it in a traditional English style with accompanying hops. I'm guessing that probably means we're going to have maybe some Buggles in there, some Goulding hops, who knows. But it seems that the mantra for this beer was that they wanted to make a straight up nice English style porter. So in case you didn't notice, uh, the can art, we've got some cool like Ghost Rider, Native American imagery on this. But the name itself, Midnight Rider, is a bit of a fun double entendre. If you don't know, Macon, Georgia is the hometown of the Allman Brothers Band, the seminal Southern rock band. And Midnight Rider, of course, is the title for one of their perennial hits, which I highly suggest checking out. So a little fun kind of wink and a nod to uh, hometown musical heroes. Uh, Capricorn Records, where the Allman Brothers frequently record a lot of their albums, is literally a few blocks down from where this brewery is at. So, Definitely a true, tried and true make and treasure, the Almond Brothers, so I'm definitely interested to try a beer that uh, bears some namesake to them. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this in a glass. We're going traditional. We're going to go with a official no-neck glass. top it off here a little later. This beer is pretty fresh. They can this in very limited series. I picked this up a couple days ago, so I can't think this beer is any more than two weeks old. So yeah, um, you saw how I poured it. Not much of a head on it. Uh, the head itself, very, very tight bubbles. Uh, very tan brown color. It basically looks like creamed coffee. Um, or cinnamon. Yeah, de definitely a, a light brown khaki head on this. Uh, it's not completely dark. I'm seeing uh, definitely a good bit of carbonation on the sides of the glass and even a little bit into it. I'm, I'm starting to see some bubbles going. So it looks like a very live active beer. Very, very bottom. I'm getting some very ruby brown tinges like like a deep cola brown, um, but that's really only around the edges. The vast, like 99% of it is, is very, very, very dark brown. So yeah, looks the part. So let's get a whiff on it. So immediately I'm getting a huge, huge chocolate note out of it. Not like a straight up baker's chocolate, but if you have one of those more like artisan dark chocolate bars, it's like a 75 or above cacao present. It's, yeah. Yeah, it smells like a really concentrated uh, chocolate. Not like a, like a milk chocolate. Getting some roastness from the malts on it. There's a bit of a coffee note on it. I'd say that's coming in about third place from the dark chocolate, the malts, and then a little bit of a coffee on it. At least as I can tell, I'm not really getting much of a hot presence, but again, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for on this in terms of hot profile, but I wouldn't expect a beer like this to be really, you know, being bombastic with a hop aroma anyway. So yeah, smells delicious. Um, looks the part, smells the part. Let's get some lips on it. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. So 
So from the tongue, I definitely get much more of a baker's chocolate than I did on the nose. The nose kind of belied a little bit more of a sweeter dark chocolate bar. The taste is much more like bitter baker's chocolate. Sweetness is starting to come through about middle of the tongue. Definitely a more characteristic malt sweetness. Um, not like a candy sugar or anything. Um, tastes like a sweet dark bread a bit. Coffee notes are coming out in the very, very back of the tongue. Mouthfeel feels good. I'm gonna say it's a bit on the more thin side than I would like for mouthfeel. Not that I'm necessarily expecting a porter to be straight up heavier in a way, but I feel like with darker beers like this, whereas they don't need to feel like you're drinking soup, like a big giant imperial stout, I think they, they benefit a bit more when you're having a little bit heavier of a mouthfeel, it's not bad. It doesn't taste thin. Like this does not taste like I'm drinking um, like a lager or a Kolsch or a Goza or anything like that. This feels like it needs a little bit more meat on its bones. Now that's just the mouthfeel. The flavor itself is very, very good. And even in the little bit that I've drank out of this and it's warmed up, that bitter is starting to come big time. Now I'm starting to get it more on the sides of my tongue and it's tasting like black coffee, like straight up. So the malt bill's got a lot of personality on this. Finish lingers a bit, which I like with beers like this because I, I personally kind of like having some of that kind of lingering bitterness kind of remind me of the beer that I'm drinking a bit. Almost like if I had like a really juicy IPA, I would prefer to have a lingering finish to keep getting that juicy sensation. This is doing that. Um, it's, it's giving me that feeling like I've just had a, just a, a big, roasty, dark, chocolatey kind of coffee wave sweep over me. I will say now that whereas on the nose originally, I was getting kind of that dark chocolate bar. Initially on the tongue, I was getting Baker's chocolate. It's almost now pushing farther into like coffee, but there's almost like a nut bitterness too. Like if you've ever had like black walnuts, um, like some nuts have that kind of like a little bit of a stringent bitterness to it. I'm getting a little bit of that in it. A little kind of a bitter nuttiness. Again, it's not off-putting. It's not a stinging kind of bitterness like I had a bad mushroom or something. But, um, yeah. I mean, in a way, the uh, that very loud, bitter character is, is helping to uh, make up for some of that lack of mouthfeel that I was wanting out of it. Uh, carbonation is fine. I mean, you can see there's like no head left on this thing. This is a clean glass. 6.6 .6 alcohol. I'm not really getting much boozy character. I am tasting it a little bit, just a little bit um, right in the back, but I'm not smelling it. And, you know, some decent lacing for 6.6. .6. So... Yeah, overall, good beer. Um, I think you know, a lot of what I'm tasting with it being a porter, it being a robust porter, so it is definitely being true to the name because it's doing a lot of this in my mouth as I'm drinking it. Um, yeah, good beer. Uh, this is a real good porter. This is, uh, I think, one of the second dark beer I've had from Piedmont. I, have, I usually go there. I drink a lot of their um, lighter beers. But, uh, yeah, good stuff out of this. 
know, something like this, well, the way it's playing right now with this bitterness, I would want this with definitely temperatures below 40. This, this seems like it'd be a great little winter warmer. And I would love, love, love to have this with like a bowl of chili, like a big, spicy, meaty, greasy bowl of chili. I think that bitterness will go really well with some of the salty, spicy, and even a little bit of sweetness that you might get from some uh, chili. So, yeah, this is, yeah, it's very tasty. So, yeah, once again, uh, if you find yourself in Macon, Georgia, hop on down to 3rd Street. Um, check their hours opening, but... As I've said before, uh, they brew all the beer in-house. They have a smokehouse, so they've got plenty of delicious food. And they actually have a little bit of a, a issue would say, yeah, like a retro arcade downstairs. So it's definitely a one-stop shop that you can kill a few hours at. And, uh, yeah, tell them I sent you. So good beer. Definitely recommend trying it. If you are in the South or you're a fan of dark beers in general, go ahead and give it a go. But until next time, everybody, as always, keep your mind sharp, your heart clean, and your upper lip bitter. We'll see you next time.